All right, folks, the deck is Spiteful Hunter. The goal of the deck is to draw Keliseth on curve, play Shandu Wild Claw on turn three, buff up our minions and specifically our beasts, work our way towards Spiteful Summoner and Primordial Protector to summon a big minion, or hit the Guardian Animals to pull some of those high-value beasts directly from our deck into play. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Hey, Blob. Welcome, Blue Things. All right. Let's see how many warriors we face today. Probably about a billion. This is the last stream before vacation, and... I'm feeling good about that. Shaman! In this economy? Alright, um... Full keep? So this is to help, like, fetch the, um... The Kelisath, specifically. Yeah, let's try it. Hey, Deadly Feet, dude. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Berker. Welcome, Calm. Okay. I do need to use the coin before I play the safety instructor, but that's fine. Oh. Okay. I, I like that. Maybe I'm just not playing the safety instructor for a bit. Punk. Okay, I can still kill that and develop the weapon. Audio's a little off. Oh god, I'm peeking real hard. Let me check on something. Yep. Windows did that thing where they turned my microphone up to 100 again. How's this? It's actually preserved. But like, I'm okay giving away three life. Sorry about your earballs. Louder, please? Uh, no, if I go louder, that creates the same problem we just had. <laughs> this storm is in me. Overcharged and ready to fight. Okay, this is like the limit that we can go to. I don't We're just looking to coin the Spiteful next turn. And I think that may be enough. To uh, get us through this. That's a 10 drop. Actually, that's false. It's two 10 drops. That's a really bad 10 drop. Also kind of bad. Your 
I need to stop taking damage, I think. Ouch. Probably need to set this taunt. And then shuffle the uh, broom back into my deck. It doesn't seem like the opponent's interested in making... Uh, minions here, so let's do this. Hey, another spiteful. Um, I don't think it matters, though. It's a matter, like, either we die or we win. Based on the way this is lining up. So they need Lava Burst Crackle for five. That's not going to do it, unless they get a Lightning Bloom as well. Three. Oh, I think they had a lightning bolt and they needed to get a five or more where they're just trying to bait out a concede. Mage. I haven't seen a mage in a while. To be fair, I only queued into like two very specific decks all of yesterday, so. This is a really bad hand. It keeps getting worse. <laughs> my my deck is like half one drop, so what's going on here? Okay. Everything looks Please fix. There we go. But a bunch of big bears. That did something. Mind if I roll need? Oh no, is it ignite? Surprise inspection. I think it is, which means I lose most of the time. Uh, are there any 8 or 10 drops that can save me? The um, Tainted Tormentor could save me, but I'm less likely to get 8 drops off of this because I have one. Oh, wait, maybe it's just Reno? This is weird. We're actually getting a variety of decks today. Well, there goes my plan for the Tainted Tormentor. And there goes my board. All right, nearly the entirety of my deck is playable next turn. I've drawn so many of the heavy cards, like I'm bound to hit something good, right? And I really wish I hadn't just said that. Maybe hero power mage or something? How? 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 This is unbelievable. Mind if I roll need? Okay. Saved? Beautiful. Look at that long neck boy. Okay. All but three of my cards are playable this coming turn. Mother of God. <laughs> Just you wait till I get to eight mana.
Uh, if I draw the the Grand Slam next turn, I'm just going to end the stream. Probably can't even play the Guardian Animals now because it's too bad into Counterspell. Hmm. I mean, I've been carrying a hand, a brutal hand, for quite a while already. Might as well just let her rip. Aha! Success! Probably should have done this in a different order. But... Also, I guess I could have broken the block with this. Sometimes. They kind of had minions on the board. Probably better just to set up the, uh, the likely outcome of this next turn. <clears throat> well played. Thanks. Oh my god. How did we win that game of Hearthstone? Great start today, yeah. I mean, we're three games deep, and this is the first Pirate Warrior we face, so. Alright, let's look for one drops. I don't think I can keep Bran in this matchup. He's unlikely to stick. I'd like to hit a Keliseth one time. Uh, I can shuffle the Archivist back into my deck sometimes, if I hit, like, another one for next turn. Hmm. Huh. Making it difficult. Nobody's even made a ma maestra, maestra joke yet? We're doing great? Yeah. Man. I mean, you said something, so now the person below you is obviously going to say, I bet it's Maestro Warrior. But... Okay. Unfortunately, we're now going to shuffle this back into our deck, but that's also pretty good, right? Like, the point of the teacher's pet is to stay in my deck. Is this a captain on three? Please don't be. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Ish. Well, hmm. Everything looks up to code. <gasps> I mean, that cam cannon was going to just devastate me, so it's probably good that I got it done. <clears throat> All right. I just need to draw the other safety instructor now. That's the thing. Aha! You don't have a weapon, you fool. Aha! You still don't have a weapon, you fool. I need to stop talking. This first mate exists. That's okay. That's not first mate. We're fine. Nice patches. It's happening again. Hey, stuff. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of my cards are unplayable next turn. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Trust the pirate. That needs to die, but I should be able to clear it most of the time. 
curse of eight? Yeah, it's always the eights. Honestly, at this point, I'm just elated to see a playable card. <clears throat> Are you a number of cards playable or number of cards pl unplayable kind of guy? Well, as of today, it's been a number of cards unplayable. Boros, thank you for the six months. Welcome, Tojo. Glad you're liking the content and glad uh, you made it to a stream. I'm not glad that my opponent is making me die here. I think the only thing that can maybe save me is like a spiteful off the top. Maybe a Zilliax could uh, buy me a couple turns. But I think I would just rather get like a spiteful into a really good roll here. Thought you played Polk out? No, it just looks like it. These past two games. Keep the spiteful and mulligan everything else. Ooh, turn five spiteful? Didn't even need the coin. Fortunately. Could be the Edwin high roll, which would be a bummer. <clears throat> you're welcome, uneatable. Glad you made it to a stream. Okay, slow start so far, but like, that's what the Edwin deck does, isn't it? Uh oh. It's also what Pillager Rogue does, so that's a problem. Need to get like a tainted tormentor. <laughs> Green mix oh no, that's going to be a problem. Saw this once with Deathwing. I mean, you're seeing it now with Deathwing. What? Are you are you referring to the period at which, which is happening now? Perhaps. Okay, tons are good. Not necessarily that one. Oh, dear God. Our time 
is almost up. Just You got really good hits off those two. I wonder how often that deck high rolls. Is it like 30%? <laughs> no, it's way higher than that. But <laughs> 30% would be legitimately unplayable. It's incredibly consistent. always draw Deathwing before playing Apothecary. I mean, no, you just tend to remember those a lot more frequently than when the opposite happens. Like, also you have Anka for that and it's not the end of the world. Kettle Joe, thank you for the 15 months. Okay, Zilliax and Despiteful could get me there. Cyber Navigator, thank you for the eight months. <laughs> Good job. job done. You really showed that elemental. Look who's back. And ready for some vengeance. This is unreal. I mean, I've got the Zilliax, but that alone isn't going to solve this. Yeah. Well, it solves that at least. Assume they have another. Okay. Stop. Unity. Precision. Taunt? One for all and all for me. I hate you, Marin. Faster, you 
That was all Marin's fault. Wait, the priest? The light shall bring victory by fang and claw. Yeah, just need to keep the safety instructor to filter my draws better than I have been, given how things have been going. Yeah, sending a teacher's pet back isn't bad. Okay, probably big priest, which is probably very bad for me. So I need to high roll. Raza Priest has been pretty popular of late. Yeah, that was in response to the bug druid, but like since that got fixed, it's uh. Why? I'm going to lose my mind trying to play this deck. Cool. I guess we lose. This is so frustrating. Unfortunately, this does not line up very well into their turn five, which just wins them the game. Hey, you okay? Free of that it's manageable here. I have to kill it or I lose, so I don't get to develop the teacher's pet, which feels really bad. I've just got this into this next turn, because I inevitably draw a high-cost card. I'm not playing against this. This is... There's no coming back from that. I just needed to hope they didn't have it, but that's why I had to kill the Vargoth in case they did have it, but they just won the game after they play the Shadow Essence against me. I would like to stop drawing the expensive cards, please. Just game after game after game. Oh, this is probably another matchup I don't actually get to play Hearthstone in. Well, at least we got these out of the way, right? Fightful seems all right. Just need to find a mana saber, I guess. That's not bad, because it's a playable card. And I've been light on those in the early game. Hey, Seymour. Welcome, Turin. Wait, is it actually Seeker Mage for once? Oh, no. Um, stop! They're probably going to get online faster than me, but 
maybe only by a turn because they coin that. They definitely don't kill that. They just kill that. Make them ping it, I guess. The whales of these caverns cheer me. Hmm. The Wait, what frost spell do they have? Ice block? That's not typically run in this deck. genuinely seems very bad in the deck, but it's the only thing that makes sense. Well. Oh. The reason it's genuine, generally not run in the deck is because, like, it isn't Conjurer's Call or um, Book of Spectres, which is why you're running these cards so that you can get on line more consistently. So like, imagine they were able to conj this um, giant this turn. That would make a rather large difference. Gotta kill that, otherwise it's uh, runs the risk of killing me. Because they do run at least one um, whirlwind. Oh, it's a Reno version. I guess that explains the atypical cards and the lack of conj. Save me, please. I was not saved. Well I can see. all the expensive cards. Let's get them out of the way. Early Mana Saber. Honestly, Witchwood Grizzly could be fine as well, just because, well, no, because of Anchor, they have infinity cards in hand at all times. Unfortunately. Ahoy, scallywag! If they have a cannon, I probably have to kill it with the Shandu, and that means giving up the coin. Unless I draw something, I can actually contest it. Okay, that's fine. I would just fire, follow my curve, see if I can keep this stealth long enough to get to one of these eights with the coin. So here, 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 coin something. Students, today's class will be outside. For the 
Sure is fun. Cool, you win. Have fun. There's just no winning against that deck if you ever intend to win with the board or play with the board. Same thing with Questline Hunter. There's, like, this deck just cannot match the good decks. Which is every deck. Like, I just need to hope I queue into the, like, 20% of decks that aren't uh, the three good decks. Rexa versus Gerash. How do these players have the endurance to play endless mirrors? Well, because they win at least 50% of the time in, in doing so. I was kind of hoping to hit another one drop here, but I didn't, so... Sure it would be nice to queue into something different for a change. At least we got an on-curve Kelisoth. This is awkward. Blood will flow. Nothing but a bunch of big bats. What if you get? Queue up three different decks, and then the opponent gets to ban one, and then you pick one of the two decks left. Um, I mean, that <laughs> would be, we like, that would change a lot within Hearthstone, or require Hearthstone to change a lot, because you would get to know the opponent's deck before you start the game, which reveals important information sometimes, and makes the games less interesting, and it really punishes people that only have a single deck if they're free to play. So... I do not think that would be a good idea. Everything looks up to code. Blood will flow. Ah, oh, done. We have 28 health on turn 4. Weird. I mean... Yeah, opponent isn't really winning this game with damage right now. They win it with uh, infinite value. Or they can just play... Yeah, I was going to say they can play captain and win with uh, damage. That's also something that's legal. Fortunate. Kind of need them to dump hand here, but that doesn't seem likely because they're going to add at least one card to hand. Fly, party. Yeah. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. We just have infinite refill it feels like the anchor just added so many cards to their hand
This is still going to be quite large, but I'm not sure it'll be large enough. I feel like this is too low impact, so I'm just going to send it back. Turn I've got another taunt, but they're only playing at most two cards here. At least I got a card out of their hand. Smile. Got to do something here. So that's something. I must choose. Surprise inspection. Kind of a bad weapon for them, but they're probably just going to trade off the, uh, the low health minions anyway. It can't be that. You just trade your minions in. It's really that simple. Just trade your minions in. I mean, you still do just trade your minions in. The problem is they just end up winning as a result. That's the first time I've seen Smite be relevant from hand against me. Yeah, let's see. Not quite 50% warrior yet. We're at 44%, uh, so I'm sure that'll change here. Yeah, I like the uh, the safety inspector too. He's a fun card. Mm. Let us see who can withstand the fires by fang and claw. <laughs> Just want to play against something different. Well, this is an hand that beats this deck. Wait. They're not odd, at least. Maybe that gives me a chance to play Hearthstone. They did keep the leftmost card, so it's still probably Questline Hunter. Well, you shouldn't be listening. That is stream sniping, and I do not appreciate that. It's not Questline. Oh my god, we actually found a different deck. Diamond 10, it was like an hour of fun decks and then all Hunter and Warrior afterwards. Yeah, I think for the first like two and a half hours or so, I was queuing into 80% uh, Warriors and Questline Warriors and Hunters yesterday. The biggest counter to Pirate Warrior? Uh, Warlock decks, even Reno. Wait, is this actually a mirror? Which one of you is this? Actual. Like that emote might have been real. Anyway, uh, like hand lock, uh, even lock, even Reno lock are all good answers to Pirate Warrior. So, 
general warlock deck seem pretty good in the matchup. This is card for card the deck I'm playing. Yep. Guess I shouldn't complain too much. It's better than this dies, so I can't get the File must be great against Pirate Warrior. Um, it's okay. The problem is they have uh, infinity cards, so even if they lose a board, um, they can just refill pretty cleanly. A symphony of terror begins. Are they going to attack into this? Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm fine with this. This leaves me with a board lead. Ooh, and the bird. My turn. Okay, I got a 10. That's likely to be better than the 7 9, right? Yeah, it was. I'm just going face. <laughs> I mean, I was just memeing when they emoted I'm listening and I accused them of sniping. But, uh, I think it may be reality here. Even if they have a taunt? No, the Spiteful came down first, unfortunately. I think they were just fishing for a taunt. But I've got all the taunts. Couldn't even find lethal. Unfortunately, when it's something more fun, when this ends, it's back to the pirates. Yeah, inevitably. At least we had a brief reprieve from the uh, the pirates. So, like, what makes uh, the Warlock decks actually beat Pirate Warrior, though, is their ability to just swing the board back in their favor and counter pressure. You need to kill. Like, if you're relying on just removing the Pirate Warrior stuff, you lose that game. That's why things like Reno Lock, like straight Reno Lock, even um, Reno Mage don't really have much of a chance against it because it, they have inevitability against you. All right. Maybe a coin spiteful will be enough, Copium. This is really bad to hit with the coin, isn't it? Do I need to find another one drop? Thank you. Nothing but a bunch of big bears. And I'm likely just hero powering something down this coming turn and then coining the mana saber? I'm still probably coining the Mana Saber just so that I can actually play this card from hand. Trust the pirates. At least they drew patches. I gotta kill that captain next turn. And I can set up a taunt. In the box? Mm, pirate stuff. To protect this, hopefully. Hey Sonya. Welcome to the stream. Glad you're liking the YouTube. Yeah, four cards, so this is at eight. The problem is that this is susceptible to the uh the cannon shot, so I might not get an early uh, spiteful, which I desperately need. So Still got to get kind of lucky here. Glory. I'm here for the <laughs> Is 
Zilliax or another taunt would be. Jeez. Really? Second Grizzly would be pretty good here, but this is so dumb. This is just like, it's just so dumb. I hate it so much. Need a good roll against uh, Rokara here, I guess, off the spiteful. Who's back? Okay, please be like a scrapyard colossus, maybe. Behold the armies of Stormwind. I can't even enjoy the music. This is so miserable. Trust the pirate's code. Glory! I'm here for the gold! There's anything that saves me. Maybe Bunny buys me a turn. New class, Pog Champ. You asked for it. My fang and claw. Let's keep the Kelisoth. Look for Mana Saber and Spiteful. I think this is maybe too ambitious. Now let's try it. We could always coin the brand into Kelisoth. That might be fun. Or I could just send the stupid coin back to my deck. No, probably just coin this, right? Turn one Kelisoth. going to be nerfed by the time this video comes out, so it's not a matchup that's uh, worth playing out. Ran doesn't do too much in this deck. Then don't run him, I don't care. That's better, I think, later in the game. I just want this on turn one. Big 
Maybe it's Secret Mage. What? Well I can see. I can see it against it, it's I'm going on vacation tomorrow the video is not going up until that quest line is nerfed so there's no point in playing it out because the footage is useless all right back to the warriors uh just keeping the brand so that I can uh, double up the spiteful might be a chance but like the brand always just kind of dies right What is the best deck to farm quest warriors, quest hunters, and secret mages on ladder? I mean, the problem is you can't farm both quest hunters and uh, warriors. There's no deck that beats both of them. At least not consistently. I am a... They protect each other. And then secret mage is just, like, not a deck on ladder right now. Yeah, dark glare is about as close as you can get because dark glare is okay if you get a fast enough Spartan starting to questline hunter, but sometimes they just kill you. Lothub just ruins hunter? I mean, that assumes you're not just dead, though, because your life total gets pretty low, right? Like, around turn 5, you're just kind of at risk of dying to hero powers. Kinda looks like a cannon setup, but maybe I can sneak this uh, Bran out. It's just a playable card. We're gonna need more gunpowder. It was a really unfortunate draw. And passing this turn pretty much gives up any advantage that I did have, so feels kind of bad. Fortunately, the opponent has a slow start. The Zilliax may be able to help recover, but like that was a crucial time to not draw something it cost, but Who wins the Pirate Warrior versus Questline Hunter matchup? I believe uh, Questline Hunter does. Just because it removes their stuff. Like, uh, the way I remember it working out, according to the data, is Questline Warrior beats everything that isn't the other two playable classes. And then those two playable classes beat Questline Hunter, and that's part of why they're playable. Breaking story. So the spiteful dies here, but that's fine. The ten drops have been pretty bad today, but like it's still a lot of stats. I'm not going to complain too much. 
and the guardian animals can uh, bring things back. In a box? Pirate stuff. Going real slow here. They have a kill on it though. What? What are you doing? I'm losing to this deck consistently. Wait, what? what are you doing? I am just losing my mind. Take it, but like nothing they just did was in the correct order or decision. You see a later element. Right. It's just astounding. Pretty good. Uh, I just want to have like healthy attackers for next turn so that I can close things out with the Grand Archivist. This is actually... I'm sorry, what? We play Corrupted Clown ver Wait, I could have uh, full cleared this and guaranteed the lethal. But I just read something ridiculous in chat. If we played Corrupted Clown versus Pirate Warrior, we would just win. That is... Just not true. I would love to live in that world where I have 10 mana to corrupt the clown and then 9 mana to play the clown. against Pirate Warrior. Still one, yeah, but I could have guaranteed it, so it's still a bad play. Rexa versus Tyranda. You will give me strength. My fang and claw. I think double. If this is a big priest, I think double spiteful is my only hope here. Oh, that's not really what I meant by double spiteful, but.
Okay, that's going to be my actual turn three. I play this on four, and then. Blessings to you. My eyes are upon you. Oh god, it's not Big Priest. That's phenomenal. Maybe. <laughs> I don't have a low thumb to protect my boy. Wine palm? The future is oh. Clear. oh no, they're gonna get my brand. Right? Like, they only get three choices, so it's obviously Brian. Students, today's class will be outside. Unless it ends up being Beast uh, Priest. There's no chance this uh, brand survives, right? After they saw the double or the spiteful in our hand. Our brand, not theirs. But I'm going to try and sneak it out anyway here. Because if it does survive, I get to protect it with the teacher's pet. So let's bump. If they want to heal, they still don't get a uh, like a good trade on this. It still dies, so. Kind of creates an awkward situation for them. They may be tempted to Dirty Rat. That's a one in three of uh, making their life sad. Oh. Right, they've got the brand, so it wouldn't actually make their life sad. It's a very good brand for them, it turns out. Probably looking for something that can, like, deal with the spiteful board. And they're probably just going to trade into the Shandu. So that they protect their Kazamicus. Start playing these before I hit the big spells. Alright. Ultra Boy! Nine Hysteria isn't enough to clear this. Rude! How dare you? Also, who do you think you are? In addition, what gives you the right? Unbelievable. All right, we'll just make a new neck boy here. Yeah, yeah, I want some revenge for that Ultrasaur. Okay, step one. Dear God. That is not an Ultrasaur. See, the thing about Ultrasaur is that it had a lot of health. That's what made it good. I ain't Thanks. 
Wait, now I can potentially get a in the Grand Slam. Do they have another four AOE? Oh, they they've got a second Kazamicus potion here. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Wait, I actually can't get the potion down, can I? Or the uh, the Grand Slam? Just do this before anything weird happens. Um, force out a psychic scream. Although, psychic scream doesn't actually help me, right? Because I still can't get to the Grand Slam next turn if they clear these mana sabers. I just need one mana saber to survive here. Or two. But these probably die to like a dragon's breath or something. Twelve. Still not quite there. Oh wait. Oh, <laughs> we're so close. <laughs> oh, here comes the Reno, right? Damn. I mean, that alone doesn't do it. OVL Ace, thank you for the Prime. Wow. You knew? Isn't it? What's in the box? Wait. Hell is Seth. Ooh. That was, uh, that was a game of Hearthstone we played. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be right back.
All right. So what we're going to do here is uh, play this deck until we queue into another Pirate Warrior, and then we'll swap decks. What's the percentage of Pirate Warriors today? Uh, 40%. Very few quest line hunters, so. But now that I said that, okay. So this is our last game with the deck. Now you're sailing on my seas, my fang and claw. Well, things are looking pretty safe here, aren't they? Play this, then. Wait, there's no way to get this back into our deck. Double safety inspector is such a troll. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Grisho, thank you for the brand. play a cannon there. <laughs> Man. Oh my god! I thought we were done seeing all the low value shivers. Glad you're liking the YouTube, Trish. Welcome to the stream. Faster, you kill all that is my face. Surprise inspection. I don't actually know if I want to like give up my entire board into that. So I don't think I'm going to. Well, we know they don't have a lot of pirates in hand because of, oh my god <laughs> because of the really awful shiver turns someone's got to lead the charge yeah. it's fine Much better use of these uh, fireflies. That worked out quite well. Patience paid off. That's annoying. can't put six damage into uh, the Witchwood Grizzly. I need him to save me next turn. So that I can get to the Guardian Animals, which is probably a higher priority than the Primo Protector, unless I'm like mega desperate. Okay. 
probably get the two cannon shots here. That's four, eight. I'm dying. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. In case of captain, this actually ends up with the potential to whiff um, if they go wide, just because I could miss both teacher's pets. 25% chance to get double uh, mana saber. Which would be quite bad. Oh god. is probably fine. That lost me the game. Well I can see. All right. That's enough of that. <laughs> 